I'm Anel, and I'm a registered nurse in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at the Massachusetts General Hospital for Children. Today, I will be going over what ECMO is, why your baby may need it, and what to expect. ECMO is also known as extracorporeal membrane oxygenation and is a machine we use when your baby's lungs, heart, or both are having trouble working on their own. Your baby's lungs may be too sick to pick up the oxygen and deliver it to the body. The ECMO machine's function is similar to the baby's lungs. It will add oxygen to the blood and remove waste while their lungs rest and heal. The ECMO machine is connected to your baby via two tubes in their neck. These tubes are called cannulas. One of them pulls out blood into the machine and the other one returns the blood to your baby's body. The pediatric surgeons connect your baby to the ECMO machine. Afterwards, respiratory therapists will take care of the ECMO machine and help the NICU nurses take care of your baby. Hi, my name is Stephanie, a registered nurse in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Massachusetts General Hospital for Children. As you can see, there is a lot of equipment in the room. We can go over through what some of these machines do. While your baby is on ECMO, they will also have a breathing tube that is connected to a ventilator. This will help your baby's lungs stay open while they heal. The monitor tells us what your baby's vitals are. It is connected to your baby through these leads. The foot probe will tell us the amount of oxygen in their blood, and these leads will tell us their heart rate and breathing rate. Usually, we monitor their blood pressure through a catheter called an arterial line or a blood pressure cuff. This IV pole has several pumps that deliver your baby's medications and fluids. These tubes are connected to your baby and are very important to keep them comfortable and reduce their movement. It is extremely important to be careful when we are around all these wires and tubes. We are happy to show you ways to safely move around your baby's room. You will hear many different sounds and alarms on the unit. Each sound means something different. We are all trained to respond to them. Many of them are normal and will help us keep your baby safe. We will always be in the room to respond to them. While your baby is on ECMO, we need to keep them calm and comfortable. To do so, it is important that we keep their room quiet and the lights down. Most babies still enjoy being talked to and find comfort in their parents' voices. When possible, we will set you up so you can read or sing to your baby. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask your baby's nurses, respiratory therapists, and doctors. We are here for you every step of the way.